Okay, we're doing a quick and highly requested video today where I'm going to show you how you can email your students who take your courses whenever they complete a lesson or a module. This is a great way to be able to nurture or send follow-up sequences to people that are taking your courses right at the specific moment that perhaps you either want to facilitate or encourage better learning, or you simply just have a message that you want to send them. It's also a great opportunity for an upsell if somebody's completing or getting near to the end of a course. There's a ton of different reasons why you might want to send an email at a particular time someone reaches a progress point. So let's jump in and take a look at just how easy this is to do with Thrive. Just walking through some of the mechanics here, if someone is taking one of your courses, for example, let's use mine as an example, and they're inside of your courses, and let's say they reach this point where, I don't know, they reach the end of the module for lesson three. So let's use this as an example, and they go into uh, the lesson, they watch it, and then they hit next lesson, or they hit complete lesson, uh, and they mark it as completed. We're going to take that action of them hitting next lesson or complete lesson and moving on to the next module, and take that into Thrive Automator where we can then decide what happens next. So head over to Thrive Automator and create a new automation. The trigger that we're looking for is called, we scroll down the list here, user completes a lesson in a course or user completes a module in a course. Either one of these will work for us. I tend to stick with the lesson because uh, it's a little more granular, I guess. It lets you kind of have more control over a specific lesson point and when you want to uh, trigger an email. And this could be the final lesson in module three as an example, so that we can know when they complete module three. So instead of always trigger, we don't want to trigger off of completing any lesson. Go ahead and select the specific lesson based off of lesson title. So for us, ours was inside of Thrive Apprentice to Master and inside of the module three, we'll go to student experience and then we'll go to uh, we'll do this one right here, member dashboard with conditional display login form. So when they complete this lesson, we know that they've completed module three. So we'll click done there, and then we'll click add another action. And remember, the goal of this is to send an email. So we're going to view all because I don't see what I want to see. And an easy way to do this right now is to tag a user in autoresponder. Autoresponder is just a fancy way of saying email program, email marketing tool. Sometimes people refer to them as CRMs. That's all the same thing. So let's go to tag user and autoresponder. And here's where you're going to choose whatever email tool that you use and that you've integrated with Thrive Suite. For me, that's Fluent CRM, but this would work with Active Campaign or ConvertKit or something like that. Now we're going to choose the tag that we want to use. So we're going to say uh, Thrive Apprentice to Master Complete Module 3. That's the tag and we'll click Done. And that's all we need to do in Thrive Automator other than give this a name. So again, I like to name mine all the same to keep it consistent. So I like to put the course the word complete, and then say what module it is. And then we can publish our workflow or our automation and click save and finish. Now for me, I'm using Fluent CRM. So this is the point in the video where our paths may diverge slightly, but we're going to essentially do the exact same thing. A tag is applied, so let's send an email. So I like to call this internal label the same thing, again, keeping all the naming consistent. And it's going to happen, this automation, based on when a tag is applied. And I'll click continue. Now I'll select the tag that I want to work with this automation and click Save Settings. So when the user gets tagged, let's add an action. And here's what's really nice about Fluent CRM. We have so many things to choose from. I'm simply going to send a custom email and I'm going to customize my email based on uh, whatever I want to say. At this point, I might let them know what's coming up in the course. I might say something like, you know, the next lessons can be a little bit challenging. Here's a little bit of info to help you get through it. Or you might send a video or anything that you want to send. Again, this is totally up to the reason why you're sending them an email, but you would simply craft that here and then save your email and you're all set. So as you can see, that is pretty quick. It's really easy for you to send an email using Thrive Automator whenever somebody completes a module or lesson inside of Thrive Apprentice. Being able to tag users based on completing lessons and modules in Thrive Apprentice has even further reaching benefits for us because we can then trigger all sorts of other things that are dependent upon our email marketing tool and tags. This foundation in place, knowing how you can kind of track progress, and there's a key as to one of the other ways you can use this system to track user or student progress in courses, and whether you want to go create your own dashboard or, or use that data in some other way, this is a great and very easy way to do it. But that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment down below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.